I have a great time with my life and I want to share it. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were it, becoming we were becoming right. something greater. You know, it's uh, an idea that my grandmother uh, always had that it, you know, if you're going to be here, then there's a necessity to make a difference. I want to do good. Yeah. I want the world to be better because I was here. I want my life, I want my, my work, uh, my, my family, I want it to mean something. And it's like, it has, if, if you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is The, the Alchemist, uh, Paolo Coelho. And that's just, I just believe that. I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened for the last 50 yeah. million yeah. years yeah. of history, you have to believe that something different can happen. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? Just put up a barrier. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's done. It's already done. The second I decide it's done, it's already done. It's so right. now we just got to wait for y'all to see. It's unrealistic to walk in a room and flip a switch and lights come on. That's unrealistic. Fortunately, Edison didn't think so. It's unrealistic to think you're going to bend a piece of metal and fly people over an ocean in that metal. That's unrealistic. But fortunately, the Wright brothers and others didn't didn't believe that, and it just seems it, it just seems like such a ridiculous idea to me to embrace the idea that it's not going to happen, and that's not real for that to happen. As soon as you say it, now you just made that real. Confucius said, uh, "He who says he can." and he who says he can't are both usually right.